Welcome back to uh, Asian Legacy, the story so far. So, Hu Lin's wedding ceremony, quote unquote, turns out to be highly unconventional, not least when the bride is locked up inside the chapel. So, we go from conventional, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Having witnessed this disturbing spectacle, Leighton and the others decide to ask around the village in order to find out more. Uh huh. The false so, Abby's, Abby's, uh, yeah, Abby's, yeah. Abby's looking at her like, what have you done this time? So we go from America that was all well, nice and fun, and the minute we step into Wales, oh yeah! Again, um, Joe, but this is probably more like Neverlands instead. The name even suggests that. Uh, yeah, I Wedding get sacrifice. There. Actually, I was rather hoping to ask you about the ceremony we just witnessed. What the fuck, man? Yeah, basically. Yes. That's been, well, we can't say that because we're trying to keep this game Peggy Please 7, but uh, yeah. Don't, don't Through Peggy 7, it's still what the fuck. Also, considering Aurora's lack of reaction, I'm wondering what Azran weddings were like if she well, thinks this is... Well, like, uh, probably very different than this, considering, obviously, she doesn't know anything I don't about... Know, like... Like Suri mentioned, she doesn't seem too phased about it. Who knows with both the Azrun? You want sacrifices are eradicating a lot of, you know, angels. Well, she is. Well, she is showing a sad face, so she doesn't seem like she's completely unfazed by it. Yeah, but she wasn't too phased by it in the last part, so she I could just be showing remember, a sad face also, because she's Emmy mostly, is upset about remember, it. Remember, she's also mostly amnesiac, so I think she's about, you know, examining humanity in this new day and age and assert. Mm, that's true. Anyway, uh, uh, Admittedly, it could just to the be dragon a round thing. The Susha soon departed to this chapter to blow, to blow is a fair wind for our village. So basically, the brides are offered as a sacrifice. The soul shall depart. The drawing. Well, this, is, this is called the as you said. <laughs> they're gonna offer. You mean she will die? Yes, no, no, she will be an expert person. No, she'll go Sacrificial to the land of unicorns. Of course she'll die! You sacrificed her. How could you do such a thing? No, 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 we haven't done that yet. I, I didn't say we've done it, I said we're going to do it. Because that's better? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm being more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I I I, I I I I didn't say I was going to rob the bank. Like <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> admittedly, admit, admittedly, believe it or not, in the legal system, there actually is a difference between planning to commit a crime. Oh no, obviously. Hey, obviously, this yeah. Guy's to, this guy's trying to change the subject. Yeah, he is. I mean, in some instances, planning particular crimes can also get you arrested. Sure. Oh yes, absolutely, but still a difference in sentence. Yes. You know, conspiracy in that. Basically. Force is quite frightening. I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, Aurora, he's trying to change the subject. Stop. Don't, don't, don't it buy really it. Was a of a dragon lord's so basically they believe that these strong, destructive winds are caused by the dragon lord's wrath, basically. Just to appease these rather we present the dragon lord with a bride from the and how often does this happen? Often. Every time there's a bride, apparently? I don't know. Go ahead. It is a bride's duty to relinquish her human form and become a gentle breeze, blessing her village for so long as it may last. Okay, you saw a hurricane. Assume okay. it was well, a tornado, rather. And this music's way rather. too bright. And this <laughs> music's way too bright for this conversation. Oh, I'm sorry. So she is going to die. But anyway, you saw a tornado. And your first instance is... Okay, I can understand thinking that it came from the dragon, but why did you jump to the conclusion of, oh, we've got to sacrifice our women, I guess? Well, remember, Shira, this is based on the... On the uh, this is based on the whole female sacrifice thing that's... Uh, A piece to the volcano god. Yeah. I mean, that still I mean, that's, does... That's that's children. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, that still does beg the question where they got the idea, hey, let's give him our bride. Like, well, for all they know, the dragon lord's a woman and wants a man instead. Well, so maybe they just want all farm animals. I don't know, give him a chicken. Well, Jova, there's a religion that, uh, where they cut off a boy's penis when he gets a certain age. Like, uh, like, customs and cultures can have really weird fucked up shit. 
so... Anyway, do you truly think we did so pure into is going to come along and ruin everything by opening the chapel door? I would advise you to forget what you have seen here, dear girl. Forget all about this village and enjoy the rest of your trip. Ignore the bloody murder and enjoy the rest of your vacation here at yes. our resorts. Oh, so this is... I'm gonna say the U- Pretty uh, funny. So this is like- so this is the UK? I'm- I, that's, I guess it's the- Yeah! I already told you this is more like the Neverlands, between the Vin- 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 giving our name to Holland. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Oh no! The country is I'm, going to shit. Like, I don't know, I'm getting- again, I'm getting more of a Wales vibe from this, honestly. Well, Wales Denver is part of the UK, so... <laughs> Go on, no, sure. that also applies to what you think of this being the Netherlands. Okay, wait, this doesn't have probably any pro you know, presence of windmills, okay? Fine, somewhere in Europe. Let's just uh, yeah, use that as a- windmills still, though. Regardless, though, let's get back to the story. Is it the time to think about the Azran Professor? What about that Pope right? Oh, I'm um, sure she's collateral damage will be gone. Um, Emmy, may I remind you that we are on a quest to save the world from targets? Well, why why are you so antagonistic? What's up with that? <laughs> Go on. If we don't find a way into that chapel, she's going to die in there. Well, we can worry about the egg later. You should probably ask a Prontidus. He tends to be specialized in doing this kind of thing. So. <laughs> Now it's Sycamore. Sorry. Uh, now it's Sycamore. Now it's Sycamore who has the um, the propellers on his head. Stay calm, Emmy. I understand how you feel, but we should first consider our options before doing anything rash. I'm considering some of the jokes we've made. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're past that point. But um. Anyway, listen. I sense it. I can sense the force of the aura stone. Oh, um, don't tell me! It's it's in the chapel, isn't it? It's in the chapel, eh? What a coincidence! So why the fuck are we having this argument? Well, because Emmy wants to save to the, the bride. Actually, that's a good point. Because Emmy wants to save the bride. Anything on the matter so far? Well, yeah, like he's always in the back. Remember, remember, <laughs> Tail. We're limited to only three characters on the screen at a time, so. Maybe. Something from inside the chapel. Well, with all due respect, to you, maybe it would have been nice to have told us that before they sealed the doors shut. Hmm? Unless I said it's the inside girl... the chapel. Does this mean that the girl herself was the Azran egg? <laughs> there is more. There is another force inside this chapel. Something more powerful than the Aura Stone. Oh, it's mm. Raphalos again. Well, remember, remember, Aurora uh, uh, is an Azran, so most likely has uh, it's Azran technology that she's feeling. So, a giant robot dragon down there. Well, it's why not? Something related to the Azran. Well, she was uh, considering Eternal Diva. Why not? <laughs> I mean, again, it, it really fits <laughs> with a lot of, you know, stories, the superstition that people mistake machines for beasts. Mm -hmm. But surely this chapel was built long after the demise of the Azram. How can the two possibly be connected? Uh, is the literal archaeologist a, really yeah, asking say, this? You're literally a professor of archaeology. Well, I Jova, the back of head, well, Jova, maybe that's your hint that maybe, you know... No, 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 He still is an archaeologist, as we know, for true, the most part. True, true. He doesn't like, spend so a lot of his time teaching, Well, though. well, m m maybe, maybe he's not as good as Herschel, I guess? I mean... No, well, the thing is, oh, we're gonna I later... hear that. <laughs> I mean, I'm the sure... We're gonna Sorry. Later... We're go... The thing is, we're gonna later learn that, no, he's a fantastic archaeologist, so he should easily be able to put two and two together on this one. Maybe he's in an off day, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, go ahead, sure. <laughs> Possibly. Maybe it's the weird allergy is in the air. By the way, I still think the bride is our top priority. Mm, I suppose. You're I right. guess I could. I guess I could try to I save mean, the woman. Sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. I'm sure we could put off time saving one person instead of saving the world if it. We're going so to the Jesus. same place. Well, there you go. You well, there you go. Asshole. I'm starting to think. Uh, Taylor, I think uh, I'll, I'll read this first. <clears throat> Hoogland is home to a disturbing costume in which a young lady from the village is selected to be the Dragon Lord's bride and locked up in the local chapel as part of their wedding ceremony. Why on earth do they persist with such a tradition? 
The people of Hoogland seem to think that the whirlwinds affecting their village are the work of a certain dragon lord. Tail, uh, well, 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 tail, maybe the reason they use Descoli there is because it, it would be out of character for Herschel to say the I suppose you're right, Ryan. So. I guess. Uh, right. Cheaply forget all the machine here, travelers. Continue your journey and enjoy your sightseeing. Yeah. Pay no attention to, Pay no the, attention to behind the curtain. Or like the doors of the chapel. Yeah, but. So if you do wish to take a photograph of me before you depart, then of course. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'll punch him in the balls and then you take the photo. Instant Mantel, Ma Man this sequel to t this direct sequel to Tales of Zestiria is really fucked up. I mean. I guess I'd almost be getting more vibes to Final Fantasy X. Sure. Actually, that's me. I Go ahead. You really think she's serving the village, sir? And yet another episode of Dweb's trying to steal roles. Of course she is. Slow. Of course she is. You're too he, slow. He might have just forgot. Moving on. How could... Sorry. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> See, you jinxed me. Sorry, had a, you, had a frog in my throat. You jinxed there. me. Um, <laughs> how could locking someone up in a chapel make the slightest bit of difference to how windy it is around here? So Emmy blatantly sounds like a man when she has a frog in her throat. It can happen. A lot of people's voices drop when yeah. they have a frog in their throat. Oh, I always thought you travel in times were a bit thin. What do you want from me? A, a, sci a scientific <laughs> explanation? Scientific. What do you want? A scientific explanation? A scientific. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But, but the bride dies. Don't you realize that what you're doing is wrong? Oh, oh, you're one to talk, Britain. All traditions are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, Try to imagine something for me, Paul. No, 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 no. Imagine oh, living in a place where only fair winds bring happiness and where wrathful winds can destroy everything in a flash. Oh, uh, okay. now, now imagining that you should get the hell of dodge if that happens. Yeah. You know. Maybe they can't afford to move, I don't know. But, but look, being British, we just steal stuff and put this it in our This is a mining village. People. We need the wind to survive. The Dragon Lord provides us with that wind, so we must appease him. We know how precious life is. We know that better than anyone, alright? This is why we kill life. He's trying to rationalize this shit, basically. <laughs> That's why we offer a life to the Dragon Lord. It's the most precious thing we can offer. Offer him a, a cake. Why not offer him a cake or something? Did you need to have to jump to human lives? Maybe a cake would do. <laughs> Go ahead. There's no kind of reason at all. You're just murderers. Thank you. Yeah, what Emmy says. Your country was founded on murder. <laughs> well, sure, he's got us there. <laughs> So don't come here telling us our traditions are wrong when you're... You're, you you're came, a Wait, we came horrible. here, what the fuck? <laughs> Go ahead. You know what, young lady? If you don't like it, maybe you should just get out of our village. Leave yeah, us okay. leave, leave us here with Romelda's blessed breeze. Filling our lungs, bringing us happiness. You're getting allergies from the pollen. In... And out. In... And out. The more this goes on, the more fucked up this Yeah, is. go ahead. Sacrificing people to try and make life better for the village. This might be the worst place we have visited. All I know is that happiness should never come at the expense of someone else's life. Indeed. Uh, I, I, I like um, jo I, I like uh, Luke's uh, question from earlier that Joe didn't read. Uh, do people really take superstitions this far? I mean, yes, Luke. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, they, they do. do. Unfortunately, they also, do. Also, I think I know what Jova means by that. And I'm just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll get we'll get to it. Anyone who believes otherwise is just deluding themselves. Hmm. You know what they say, Shiroi, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. Well, the British yeah. Empire, uh, shut up about your solutions. Ah, uh, yes, the slogan of any hypocrite. <laughs> 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 I mean, it can be a good lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, so what shall we do next? Go uh, bike riding? Go ahead, Oh, wait, right, yeah. Aha! Oh, this now, the, now the wait is over, you're going to take my photograph, right? Something tells yeah, me Emmy's not in the mood for scene. that. Go ahead. 
Milda is being sacrificed, and all you care about is having your photo taken? Unbelievable. Hey, now, you said you were going to take wedding photos. Your That's bow tie is unbelievable. Let's go into the show with the people off. So you're saying you're not going to take one? You meany man. Look, the only one who could do anything about her little is her little herself. And she's married to the Dragon Lord now. <laughs> the Dragon Lord does exist, you know. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Oh, oh and uh, I swear on me, man, man. He, he exists because I say he does. Okay. Or do they have roof, perhaps? This is not a tidy situation. Well, speaking of tidy, let's tidy this place up with the head coins. I can literally, uh, I can literally throw any, uh, pull anything out of my ass and just claim it's true. Like, I can fly when no one's looking. See, you guys aren't looking, so right now I'm flying. You guys aren't looking, so I can fly. Hey, you're not looking at me, so how can you tell I'm, I'm lying? Again, I'm wondering if they actually have proof of this dragon lord. Well, uh, I guess tune in for the uh, look, check out the rest of the part to see if that's true or not. Um, same, same time, same channel. Th this is not well. Uh, well, actually, uh, well, technically, yeah, it is a channel. Yeah. So, so how do we get in? Uh, All right. So basically, these guys were not. What the other said, you need to carry hey, information. Hey, can I have your camera when it's your turn to be the Dragon Lord's bride? Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. But we don't live here. Amy, make good. Uh, Amy, make good choices. Make good choices. If Amy does it, just kicking me in the balls right back <laughs> there, there. I don't know what's what's. She's really gonna more. throw him off this hilltop. All right. That sandwich still looks and delicious. This, and there's the sandwich made up of the. All right, Jova. All right, Jova. You will be this lady. That cow has seen one too many weddings. Oh, I can't believe that Siri Romilda stopped to talk to Julian in front of the chapel. The Dragon Lord will be been irked, I'm sure. Uh, excuse me, madam. I wonder if I could trouble you for a few things I was concerning Julian and Romilda. Goodness me, no. I can't talk about something like that with someone from outside the village. Why is it everyone is so bloody rude? Well, we saw them both talking outside the chapel. I said no talking! Too late. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, embarrassing they are! How dare they act like that! Their antics always were a disgrace to the whole village. Appalling. Yep, you and your boy are better be careful. Yeah, sacrificing, sacrificing brides? Eh, normal. A bunch of great low, low ass antics giving around. That's what we got. Well, Dwebs, if it helps you, you be. I really think so. Well, Dwebs, if it helps you, Beatrix is against this tradition. Well, of course I do. Who wouldn't? I don't think it's more appalling that you're carrying on with these outrageous ceremonies. <laughs> you know, sure, the, the way you just read that, it, you made it seem yeah. that Amy doesn't think it's appalling that yeah, the character. Yeah, I, I <laughs> <misread> that <completely. laughs> Completely changed the thing. Oh, are you deaf, you wee ass? Was, uh, uh, Dick Clayton, did you direct, uh, Amy to say that? <laughs> your nose into herself. village business. Are you deaf, uh, you and your boy? I, I assure you, madam, you were trying to... Planning to write a big article about this, I bet. I've seen your journalist types before. Always oh, sniffing around. Well, Emmy. Well, well, Emmy's kind of a journalist. Well, We're I, not sniffing um, around for anything. We just want to find out more about the chapels so we can go and rescue. Uh, I said, uh, I said, kind of a uh, journalist. Uh, uh, not really. Not even kind of a journalist. She's an assistant of an archaeologist. That's not even remotely close to a journalist. I never said she was. But you said kind of a journalist. That's not even close Why to. Hey, you two are wasting time with your reckless frivol. What even is a journalist these days? A what's in a what's in a journalist? What's in a name? Anyway, all right. So let's try and calm our nerves and maybe try to talk about to, to, to those. Beatrix, Emmy, please. Be quiet, will you? 
We'll not talk of such things. Who do you think you are strolling in here trying to change our way of life? Yeah, who do you think you are? The Galactic Federation of Planets? I demand you leave this instant. If it weren't for this person, I need so all of it. Oh, you, you shit talkers and now you want our help? I don't oh. think so. <laughs> No, I'm, okay, you know what, I, I'm not helping Fuck you. Fuck Remember, no, Shirai. I'm not doing this. Remember, Shirai, a true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. So... But Emmy is not a not gentleman. Just, yeah, not I am the... not a gentleman, I'm leaving. No, 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 but, 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 but Emmy is a gentlewoman, so... Still leaving. Is she, it's not the same thing. <laughs> You've decided to give some treats to your pets who all like different things. But you've forgotten what each animal likes. You're sure that A likes either ice cream or chocolate. That B likes pie or ice cream. You're also certain that C likes either pie or chocolate. That it's and that it's either A or D that is the ice cream fan. Unfortunately, you've no idea which pet likes cake. Using the information you do remember, give each pet their favorite treat. So basically, we're going to kill all four of these pets by giving them food that they shouldn't be eating. Okay. Yay! Well, assuming these are pets that are resilient to that stuff. I mean, uh, okay, what pet can eat chocolate? I know cats and dogs can't, but what, is there a pet that can oh. eat chocolate? You'd be surprised. Some pets legit eat that stuff and somehow turn out fine. Well, I know, I know that some people have little pigs, uh, like pot potbelly pigs and stuff like that. Can potbelly pigs eat chocolate? Pigs will eat just about anything. Well, yeah, but is it actually good for them, though? Well, okay, let's see. Rats and mice, they can eat chocolate. Well, yeah, well, rats, I mean... But what about potbelly pigs? Can pigs eat chocolate fine? Um, apparently, yes. Oh, well, okay then. Anyway... Apparently, cho apparently chocolates are a very common intolerance for a lot of mammals. What this basically amounts but... to, it's a deduction puzzle. Uh, find, uh, based on the patterns and based on, the, the, on, on what they say, uh, find the one only possible solution that fits all of the conditions. Go on. Right, I'm all set. Oh, oh now you're solving it, Emmy. I'm on top form today. Well, let's see what... Uh, pet Tacular. A likes ice cream, B likes pie, C likes chocolate, and D likes... It turns out the pets are not actual pets. They're children dressed as animals. There you go. Problem solved. Okay. Nobody died. It turns out the pets weren't pets at all. Yeah, just not one of those treats. Yeah, you're right, just as well, really. Not one of those treats is suitable for animals. There you go, see? Even the, even the puzzle saying it. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Oh, cool. Beatrix's request. I had a feeling you'd be able to help me. You journalists are supposed to be good at giving people what they want. They are? I told you, I'm <laughs> not a journalist. Well, she did say what they want, not what they need, so she might be onto something. Uh, sure. Not oh, right. I'm, I'm sure, sure you refuse to believe me, but we're really not journalists. Sure. Madam, please, we only wish to gain a better understanding of what took place here in the village today. Well, first of all, I... I no, that's what, no, they all, no, that, no, that's what they all say. Next thing they're the bobbing us blind. All right, all right. You've got honest eyes. I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> they're, yes, these they're, eyes the, are they're soulless Those are literally the eyes you could see on a... Uh, I don't know, Taylor. I don't know, Taylor. Remember the, the scene where... Um, Herschel thought Randall was dead and he was trying to tell the news to to his girlfriend. Uh, they were able to do a good job of making his his eyes look sad. You can't you, you can do that. I mean, plenty of cartoons with beady eyes have done that. Yeah, but currently they look like that of a great white shark, so... Honest? Okay. A lovely couple they were. I'm sure they'd have been happy together if it weren't for the ceremony business. This village lives in fear of the Dragon Lord, you see. That's why we make the sacrifices. I know. The very idea of it is awful. Uh, where is Julian now? You'll probably find him near his windmill. Hmm. I warn you now, though. The poor boy will be nigh on inconsolable. Let's just hope he doesn't fight the windmill again. <laughs> Uh, Dwebs? Many thanks for your assistance. Okay. Oh, Let me fair page that line was up for like a second. <laughs> Beatrix! Now you'd better move along. People will get suspicious if they see you talking with me. 
Let's head to Julian's windmill. We need to have a word with him. All right. I gotta say, I mean, that frog in your throat, uh, it, can give you, it gives you amazing vocal powers. Yes. All right. You can change it at any time. All right, to Julian's windmill. Hey, look, a doggo. All right, hand coin there. And a hand coin. Uh, and the puzzle. And a butterfly. Hey, look over there, Emmy. A butterfly. This I makes me imagine the butterfly effect. <laughs> oh, you know, I have a great way to attract butterflies. Yeah, try this, Luke. Uh, Abby, I thought you were focused on finding, on saving the bride. Everything oh, goes right. aside for puzzles. I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I didn't expect this to actually Golden butterfly. <laughs> Here are three fruity syrups that each have a different level of sweetness. When mixed together correctly, they make a special concoction that lure a golden butterfly. Making the concoction is something of a delicate art, though. If it's too sweet, it will attract bees. If it's not sweet enough, the only insect they'll be interested in is the green beetle. Using at least one measure of each syrup, see if you can get just the right balance to lure in the elusive golden butterfly. So basically, let's try some... Um, chemist chemistry style of stuff. So, I think what we've learned from this part so far is that puzzles truly are the greatest priority, even over life itself. Remember, Jova, it's, it's usually for me, I just have to stand outside. Like I said, Jova, it's it's just like how dual monsters rules the world in the Yu Gi Oh world, or like how everything in the Pokemon world revolves around the Pokemon, everything in, um... I think a more apt comparison, Pedro, would be your ability to play a card game during the, um, the Space Station sequence in Fantasy VIII. It's not so much the, the hobby, but it's for people, but more like the misplaced timing of it. And there like it is. I suppose, to give the world of Yu-Gi-Oh credit, okay, for as important as card games are, they're like one of the big world powers, not the sole world powers GX established. Good work! You finally laid eyes on the magnificent golden butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? Go ahead, Shiroi. What is I it? I guess butterflies really like you, Shiroi. I have uh, such bright hair that, yes, yeah, sometimes they do just land on me. When At they least are it's bit. not like a Jupiter Ascending where they say that bees are attracted to royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, that butterfly is so close! Mm, I could just reach out and grab it! And what would you do with it? Butterflies don't exactly make the best pets, you know. They literally die in a few days tops. So. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, that's what she's saying, yeah. Not exactly the best pet material, yeah. Their existence is fleeting and sad. <laughs> <laughs> we just think they look pretty. Wow, uh, this, uh, <laughs> this, com this, this commentary is a bundle of joy. It is. <laughs> All right, doghouse. Human sacrifices and the life. Oh, of it's a corgi! I just noticed that the doggo is a corgi. <laughs> so Julian owns, owns a corgi. Okay. Yeah, Welsh. They're a Welsh breed. So this is Wales. Shit. <laughs> Julian, I presume. Ah, called it. You, you were outside the chapel, were you not? Yeah, go ahead too. Ah, uh, it's not important. I fear I have no time for idle chat. Oh boy. Why not? What are you doing? I'm worried about my fiance, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I'm he's planning to stage a rescue. Did you know? Let's know. I wish to lick my wounds, Romilda. Parting is such better sorrow. So yeah, this is what he's doing, but without the curse words. Um. <laughs> I don't believe it. Ramilda's life is in danger, and all you can do is stand around moping? Well, what do you propose I do? Kick the door down! <laughs> yes, the do you, giant at, solid look doors! At look at me! I can't kick that butterfly you saw earlier! <laughs> I can't do it! I'll kick the door, not the butterfly. Look, if you need someone to break the doors down, you gotta get Phoenix right. He's apparently very good at that. Well, we yeah. don't have time to call an American over here! Did you not hear the words that left her lips? 
she gladly weds the wrathful dragon lord. Okay, to his credit, to give him some credit, he's trying. He, yeah, yeah. He, to be, to, did walk willingly. To, to his credit, he's trying to respect her wishes. So kudos to him for that, at least. As soon as she gets me into darkness deep, no greater clear sign can ever she show. For me, she holds no will, no need, no love. Okay, settle down, Shakespeare. But that's my joke. You really believe that, do you? <laughs> I mean, they, it's, they, it's literally in their name. There are reversal roles. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm. That's why I'm giving him the. Oh, oh, woe is me. <gasps> that's why I'm making it super melodramatic. Cause your name is Justin Jordan. Genuinely, how? Yeah, I love this touch. I doubt we'll be able to reason with him. Yeah, I love this touch because Leighton can relate to him right now, as we all know. See, so my hat as well. So it's that's a trauma. That's a great touch right there. Professor. Learn some bloody restraint. Our apologies, Julian. Yeah, Emmy doesn't know, does she? No, she doesn't. No. 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 no only. Oh, 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 the only person. Know. The only person here that. Well. Uh, the only. Well, technically, it doesn't happen. Didn't happen yet, Shira, because this is the prequel trilogy. So technically, only he knows yeah. right now. But. Uh, you know the but even if you want to count like New World of Steam, Shira, only Luke knows. So. You know the funny thing is like when you think about it, it not having happened yet has a double meaning to it. Also, because technically she is alive at this moment. She's just flung into the But he doesn't future, know that. Yeah. She also, will eventually have to go back in time to then go back to her death. So at least by the end of Lost Future also don't follow to an extent. So. Mm-hmm. But with keen eyes, the chapel they do watch, and Shepherd surely shall not let us in. All is futile. <gasps> yeah, that's kind of a bit of a roadblock. Holding a hostage. His point is like the way in is blocked. So. Basically, I beg you, strangers, leave me be. Be gone, for I am not the hero you require. <gasps> I'm not the you. You may not be the hero that we deserve. But you are the one that we need. <gasps> or maybe not. Julian is going to need a little more time to pull himself together, it seems. You know, honestly, given the heartbreak the man went through, th that does make sense. Yep. Well, in that case, we'll just have to find a way into the chapel by ourselves. What, have by shooting the, we, the priest? Have we tried the back door? What back door? <laughs> yes. To the chapel. Hey, Emmy, uh, yeah. why don't you try sure, breaking down the door? There was a back door to the chapel that, may I remind you, goes underground. Yeah, and Leighton just froze you a shovel. Alright, so... Julian's not gonna help... So... Sure, Julian's not gonna help us. So. You came up with the idea, you dick. No, 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 no. Your idea was the back door in the first place. Oh, shoot, it's locked. Yeah, it is locked. All right, so who could possibly help us? The cow. The cow. Hmm. Let's see if Piet has any info. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be of great help. I'm ready to have my photograph taken any time. Do it now before you run out of camera film. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Who just wants his picture taken? This turned into wind, so you can't take any photographs of her. It's got to be my turn now, eh? That sheep looks like that one dog meme. <laughs> <laughs> and locking someone in a chapel is supposed to turn them into wind, is it? Eventually. Now look at me conducting the orchestra. <laughs> bah, bah. Yeah, basically. Uh, 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 Felicia is basically going, kill me, kill me. Yeah, you don't think it's true? Well, it is. The bride turns into wind. Everyone knows that. So in this series, I play sheep who are sick of everyone's shit. Yes. Well, there's a well, 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 sure, sure, sure. You're Welsh. Everybody's over. See. And everyone's forgotten all about it. Well, yes, I am including Snowy in this, by the way. Well, remember, Shiroi. Yeah. Right. Well, remember, Shiroi. Right. You're Welsh, and you, you're constantly talking about how you you had one fuck to give, and it's gone. So, what yeah. better person than you to play these sheep then? <laughs> like, Honestly, I was gonna say. I wonder who's got it better or worse, Felicia or Snowy. No, uh, uh, at least Felicia. At least Piet treats Felicia well, from what we see. So there's that. At least. I mean, yeah, I'd very... say Snowy is worse off. 
Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, I mean, I know Mary means well. But, well, that's uh, right, lady. Well, not just the dress, the shoes, the veil, all that stuff. Just lying in a pile on the floor. Which means oh. the bride's turned into wind. Just the work of an expedition. All right, what he said, well, all right, what he said was basically, ev eventually they'll find, they find the empty clothes of the bride somewhere, which makes them think they'll turn into wind. So what... <laughs> What ex so, appa so apparently every time one of these brides goes for the chapel, their their clothes are still left behind, so what is happening exactly? Go on. Clearly what, they, clearly what they do is just strip their clothes off and then run off to a different life. So the brides just disappear completely, clothes and all. So they enter the chapel dressed and leave naked. Huh, I feel like there's a certain religion for that. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I don't want to think about what goes on in that chapel. <laughs> Go ahead, don't be silly, Luke. We have to find out what happened to those women. Are we sure they that literally it's just started an underground me? coven? Like they're all fine. <laughs> and they hold orgies, probably. I don't know what they do when they get bored. I don't know, Drama. The, the reboot of the wrong turn franchise told me otherwise. Surprisingly, I mean, normally I'd make a joke about what Jova just said, wait, but. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong turn got a reboot? Yeah, mm -hmm. for a while now. Yeah, he did. Normally I'd make a joke uh, based on what Jova just said, but surprisingly there are no latent anti dogians I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, they, 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 remember, remember, this is remember, this is Japan, the country that makes porn out of anything. I would rather not even search that, to be honest. No, no, I tr no, no, true, true, true. Me and Vanessa tried. It doesn't exist. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> actually. Uh, no, I've seen there. I got a search result for at least for well, free. Okay, did you find like is it is it, is it like um, fan made art stuff rather than proper dojins? Because what I mean is dojins. No, 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 no. These are actual dojins. All right, then link them to me because I want to see. Then link them to me because I want to see. You you want me to link them to you? Well, you just googled them and found them, didn't you? What's uh, <laughs> maybe this can be discussed off the mic. <laughs> all right, all right. We're just joshing too. Come on, let's just. All right, people go around here, go up tough. See, it's just not just the wind. There's all the geological sub 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 Try saying that three times fast. I just like. It's a showcase of superstitious people making them elite, right? Metal Gear Solid Three sub Yes. Hold on, geological subsidence. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you, do you mean to say that the whirlwinds are not the only natural disasters you have to contend with here? I see, Drava, connected to what you said before, or, or someone else would say that they couldn't move away, that is applicable to someone like, say, the people who live in Hawaii, because it's a set of island literally isolated and they had no other choice than living in our fucking volcano. Here, I get the idea there's plenty of land they could move away from. So why don't they just move? Because I can Well, Jova, these are the same people that believe sacrificing human beings to appease a wind god is the most logical choice. So me thinks they're not exactly smart. <laughs> the thing is, to give them credit, I guess as far as I know, <sighs> uh, assuming that there's nowhere deeper to go into that chapel, that if there's no other place for the bride to go, then yeah, they must have turned into wind, since I don't think bodies can decompose that quickly. Unless the Ark of the Covenant is in there, in which case, yeah, they do be reduced to nothing. Indeed. So basically the idea is that, um, yeah, go on. Is that so? Many thanks for all the information, sir. Your words have been most enlightening. Now fuck off. Yeah. It's his home, Layden. Your home stinks. Oh, well, always happy to help. Not to boast or anything, but there's no one who knows more about me, sorry, more than me about this village. How lovely. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it, Professor? Who'd have thought the chapel could be surrounded by tunnels? A surprising revelation indeed. Surely it is no coincidence that the chapel was built in such a spot. I believe there is an extremely high possibility that one of those tunnels will lead directly to the chapel's interior. Okay, if that is the case, maybe these people are legit that dumb, because then the brides probably could have just left through one of the tunnels and just left their clothes behind. 
But I can't see any holes or tunnels from here, Professor. Well, that does beg the question why they leave their clothes behind. Yep. So, there's clearly something here that we're missing still. Well, gang, it looks like we've got another mystery on our hands. Well, so, why don't we take a look at the other side of the hill? Well, Jova. Go near that forest? Well, well, Jova, when isn't that the case with Leighton? Perhaps there are some uh, tunnels over there. There was that one pocket of time where mysteries were sold. All right. So let's search for the other side of the hill, I guess. Sounds like a plan. Sure. Yes. A fine idea, Abby. My only concern is that we may get lost among the trees if we head there without a guide. That is true. Yes. Well, get Albie your guide. <laughs> He's not here. No, I'll be I your get... guide. I bet Julian knows his way around the forest, but he's a little out of sorts at the moment. He may be right. Let's continue our investigation. Perhaps we will discover something that will motivate him to help us. A copy of Devil May Cry 5? Oh, I got it. Get on the PlayStation digital I have a horrible feeling that someone is watching us. When is that not the case? Yep. And if it is who I think it is... Hmm. But look, well, remember, look at that. Tarjant has been surprisingly absent from this place. So. It's okay, Aurora. You've got nothing to worry about while I'm around. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, the, the way you paced that sentence and it was just silence. Like, it's only like, it's <laughs> We'll only arouse further for suspicion if we start to act rashly. Let's collect a bit more information, and then go and talk to Julian. Let's do this with tact. No beating people up. <laughs> you in the yellow suit. <laughs> uh, Careful, or you'll be the one I'm punching. Oh, I'd like oh, to God. see you try. I mean, Emmy does not hesitate to go oh, to the Oh, poor Saint Shepherd, he feels a bit sad. <laughs> you appear rather downhearted, Sage Shepherd. To serve the dragon is my calling, but when my work is done, I am but human. I weep just like any other. Your complicity! Ah, no, 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 no. See, Dwibs, he's a punch clock villain. When he's off the clock, yeah, you know, well, he what, understands what, what, what how long Eddie, it is. Right. Just to feel sympathy for you. What Abby said. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I kill people. Go home, the psycho Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you think I killed all those you people in the red faction? Um, I'm still trying to find a legit good sane reason for that. Still, it is not easy to see a man so racked with guilt. Oh, boo hoo! <laughs> what do you mean, Hold, hold on. I think I'm going somewhere with this. Oh, mighty Dragonlord, grant me your assistance. These strangers have come to torment me so. You're the tormentor around here, taking away all those so called brides. <laughs> yep. I'm not listening. <laughs> I get the idea the only. Because I wonder, well, because I, I did not good track. Did they actually use the word killing? They uh, said Emmy they, called them murderers, but I don't think they usually it's referred to just locking them inside, but uh, I don't remember if they actually was, mentioned the word. That's better. I think with the rating, they should be allowed to say that. Uh, they, I look no one away. I mean... Each one of the Dragon Lord's Bride has entered the chapel willingly with joy in her heart. They should be able to tell. Remember, they lost future somehow got away with a Peggy 7 despite having Rosetta Stone in it. So... <laughs> I don't see why well, this... Well, um, You'd be surprised, Pedro. Some people are way more lenient on sexual stuff than they are violence, or vice versa. Uh, it depends on who at the ratings boards is in work on that. Oh, it's like, like it's like um, it's, like, it's, it's like Kyle's mom says in the South Park movie, like, uh, horrific violence is okay, as long as people don't say any naughty words. <laughs> From what I can understand, America is more okay with violence, but it's harder on sexual stuff. Whereas Europe is generally Europe, Europe, less yeah. okay with violence, but more okay with sexual stuff. So Rosetta Stone, I can see getting an easy pass. 
But did she seem afraid? I assure you she was not. She proceeded to her own volition. Hers was a sacrifice we can all admire. Okay, so she insisted. I do understand your point of view, believe me. Even I sometimes wish to put an end to this tradition. Okay, just leave it there. Let him to talk. Go ahead. The man appears to be rather conflicted in his own peculiar way. Conflicted or not, his beliefs and actions make him a dangerous man. We cannot allow him to cause any more yeah, harm. Yeah, that's basically the point. We can be angry later. The important part is just to stop this. She must have known she was going to die. She must have been afraid, and yet she kept all that emotion buried. It's terrible. Uh, someone get Athena Sykes in here so she can read the emotions. Oh wait, no, she's already in America. Look up, Prefer look up. Wait, no, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. At this time, she's probably actually in Europe. Look up, Professor, there's a propeller oh, on your back. Wait, she might actually be in the area. Probably, yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, um... Yeah, she probably, she probably found over something again. Indeed, yes, I turned out I wonder, what if the brides truly aren't afraid of going into the chapel? Hmm. Maybe they're just sick of it all and decided, hey, getting itched is the way to go. Apparently. What do you mean, Professor? Yeah, it's all a psychological trick. Maybe They're the doing Dragon this Lord truly has some well, <clears throat> hidden qualities. Well, let me explain. I think I understand what you're getting at. We may have been laboring under a significant misapprehension. Indeed, though we cannot be certain yet, of course. You see, it but turns I, out... But I'm I... Professor Layton, and I'm always right. You see, it turns out there is no Dragon Lord. This is just how lesbians get to get married because this country is incredibly uh... tolerant towards that. <laughs> yeah, again, we have a lesbian witch coven underground. Okay. Yes. Oh dear, I don't understand this. This village, their traditions. I just don't understand what's happening. Um, I mean, it's best probably not. I'm not. I'm not entirely certain if you're joking at that, sure, but there's a porno that has that. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, what you? Uh, oh, oh, what a shock! A porno has that. I mean, that's like the part of at least quite a few hentai's. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. Everything we've seen and heard so far has been very troubling. And remember, yeah, don't say. Remember, Aurora is still, like he said, trying to process this all. What the humanity is doing these days, kind of thing. Yeah. A number of unsettling incidents have taken place here. May yet be an unexpected explanation, however. She wakes <laughs> up from however long she's been frozen, and then she's dealing with all this bullshit. So, uh, so basically, uh, uh, I sleep. Mind, <laughs> explanation, Professor. Although, keep in mind, dealing with this BS maybe, but we don't know what BS the Azrunes might have been up to. Sure. And apparently, she doesn't remember fully either. No, she doesn't. All I can say is we should not sink into despondency just yet. Certainly not before this place. The fine lady. Fine lady? Professor, do you mean best oh, part yes. of waking up is going back to sleep? What? I mean, <laughs> imagine if there this is actually still an improvement from how the Azrin were. Ah, uh, there you are! Beatrix! Dun 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 dun. Kill the Beatrix theme? No? Okay. I wish. Her voice down with you! Just thought you should know. I went to see her, the stubborn little minx. Huh? Surely you don't mean Romilda. No, I mean her, the famous song artist. What do you think I mean? Honestly, pipe down with you. Of course we're Romilda. Who else would I be talking about? The brides escape from the chapel after the ceremony, don't they, madam? And leave nothing but their clothes behind. What? They I run away naked? That. The poor women! Well, as soon as I heard that the brides' clothes were left behind, I started to wonder. And imagine... I thought perhaps someone would be waiting with a change of clothes for the brides, allowing them to escape, lest they run away nude, poor things. I, mean, there's I a guess it still nearby. beats dying. Oh, it's you, isn't it, Beatrix? 
you're the one who helps them. Shh! Rub it out my right yeah. face, you yeah. loud yeah. stuck Put it on the paper while you're at it. Why not? Like... Okay. Damn journalists. Women here have been doing it for generations. It's the perfect way to lead the village. The men have no idea. They are starting a lesbian coming. Yes! Uh, has seen the, actually, has anyone seen the, the, the Vavich instead? Uh, because I'm more in mind also bad. Uh. So Romilda's escaped as well, has she? I told you to keep your voice down! Actually, I'm having a little trouble with that at the moment with how daft you why are! Why shouldn't you actually ask them to go to your house and explain things there where it's more quiet? Uh? <laughs> As it would look suspicious, is the strangers that have already been stupid. making a bout around town came with her to her house, I guess. She must really believe she's come in the Dragon Lord's wrath by going into the chapel. What? Surely not. So yeah, but Romelda, for Romelda actually refuses to leave like the others. You think that seeing me wander in there would change things, but no, she's more determined and stubborn than ever. Sorry. I really don't know what's got into her. None of the girls caused a fuss like this back in the day. Back in my day, girls Can did I what I told them to. Can I lie enough times? Look, Beatrix, will you tell us the route you took into the chapel? Maybe we can help, uh... yeah. I love how whenever someone's standing in front of that windmill, it literally looks yeah. like yeah. he is a turning in their head. <laughs> Not only that, it makes them look like they're Gyro Man from Mega Man. Yeah. Oh, what's the point? If she won't listen to me, I doubt she's going to listen to some fancy pants strangers. And you're not even wearing pants. In that case, we shall require some assistance from Julian. Julian? Why him? He loves her building with all his heart. If there is anyone she would listen to, it would be him. Uh, I mean, do you have a better plan, Beatrix? I mean, do you have a better plan, Beatrix? Well, I... I suppose you're right. Though it does feel a bit strange to think of a man using the secret forest path to the chapel. Only women are allowed there for... certain reasons. But it's the right thing to do. Now listen carefully, as you need to follow these steps exactly. Pick two mushrooms and one strawberry and repeat until you reach the other side. And don't walk down any path twice. Then get 20 coins, then board the dream ship, then hang a right at Crowd's Cross Castle, then ride Rainbow Road N64 up and down. And every girl in the village knows these steps both by heart. Follow them to the letter. And you'll never find the entrance. So two mushrooms. I am not driving on Rainbow Road. I am out. So two mushrooms, one strawberry. Never take the same path to to twice. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Beatrix. Oh boy, what did Rainbow Road do to you, Shiroi? I'm not very good at it. Jova, it's consistently the hardest track in every game for a week. And yet, mm, fair I mean, enough. It's popular, yes, but uh, we all need to revolt against the tyranny of the blue shell. Anyway, let's go and see you. Hopefully we can persuade him to help us. Oh, isn't that what the bell a new item is for? Yeah, true. The super horn, yeah. Alright, everybody. Tune in, then. Tune in next time where we get Julian, tell him what we learned, and hopefully that will get him to help us. So, see you then. Yeah.